Okay, let the mobile bets begin. Online sportsbooks went live at 8 a.m. sharp this morning. And the kickoff comes just in time for some major NFL games this weekend. WDSU's Harrison Golden live at Harris and Harrison. A lot of people have been waiting on this day to come. How excited are the folks you talk to? Yeah, Gina, they've been waiting months, if not years, and there is a lot of excitement here and from different kinds of groups. Now, state lawmakers say the 15% tax on sports wagers will help fund some education programs, among some other things here in Louisiana. And then, of course, there are the sports fans themselves who say they've already started playing. I got a couple, couple uh, Super Bowl <laughs> picks that I need to throw in there. Eli Dazeer has placed mobile wagers in many other states but never before in Louisiana, until now. You log in, put your card info, and then boom, like you pick whatever team you think's gonna win. It's a quick process, years in the making. Back in fall 2020, voters legalized mobile betting in all but nine parishes. But now after regulatory hurdles and Hurricane Ida delayed the rollout, supporters say Louisiana will reap the reward. We're also anticipating some other money that comes in, we can have money go to early childhood education. You can have money go to uh, the, the racetrack for the, the purses for the horses. You can have money go to Gam Gamblers Anonymous. You can have money go to, uh, for the disabled, uh, disabled fund. Now the fact that it's brought out into the open and that we're able to participate in it in Louisiana the same way uh, Caesars has been doing it for, for years in Vegas, is uh, it's, it's a big deal. But not everyone is a fan. By virtue of the fact that it'll be 24-7, 365, uh, I think you have a very serious consideration that promises made and oftentimes promises unkept will have a social cost to Louisiana. Gene Mills is with the Louisiana Family Forum. He argues that bringing gambling to people's pockets will leave more wallets empty. And he doesn't see the so-called 15% syntax chasing people away. What can we do to mitigate the damage to the families, to the homes, and the finances of those who are the most vulnerable? And currently, we're not doing enough. But representatives with Caesars, which owns its own sports book, say account and geolocation restrictions can make the apps more regulated than in-person betting. And they want critics to give these apps a chance. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make for a fun weekend, no question about it. I will definitely have a... A money line bet on Joe Burrow and the Bengals this weekend. Which brings us to another debate bettors are jumping on ahead of Sunday's AFC Championship game between the Bengals and the Chiefs. Dude, yes, there is some Joe Burrow Bengal fans, but that man Patrick Mahomes, he's, he's something special. <laughs> yep, that's right. The AFC Championship game this Sunday and the Super Bowl two weeks after that. Well, those are two reasons why supporters here say this is really good timing for their kind of business. Now, a few reminders, of course, here. Sports betting is legalized here, and that means there are some rules. You have to be 21 or older to place your bet legally, and you can only place your bets in one of the parishes that voted for sports betting back in 2020. That is to say, here in South Louisiana, every parish has legalized sports betting. For now, we are reporting live at Harris. Harrison Golden, WDSU News.